today franchising definition and then some of its uh, advantages and disadvantages normally franchising refers to an agreement where one party grant another party the right to use its trademark or trade name as well as certain business system i just hope that now you are clear that what kind of agreement that could be one party grant another party the right to use its mean the first party selling its business other trademark it could be your trademark business symbol okay uh, the name of uh, certain products certain business operation it could be anything so that's become franchising so the party who will give permission to another party this party known as franchisor this party known as franchisor and other party who will get this particular kind of a permissions known as franchisee known as franchisee for example there are a lot of example like uh, pizza mcdonalds there are so many example that you can uh, take it if i if i if we talk about the local perspective you have seen a lot of punjab punjab colleges so there are so many restaurant if you see in the in the markets so there are thousand of examples of the franchising you can see around yourself and uh, on the broader perspective we have like pizza pata mcdonalds you know kfc all these things are considered as a franchising if we discussed few of its advantages and disadvantages franchisee benefits from pre opening support pre opening support now here uh, we are talking about franchisee opening support franchisee gets free opening sports or benefit from pre opening sports for example pre opening sports mean that the information or the things you are getting from your uh, from the first party like design financing and at the all the stuff designing operations you got it from party number 1 okay another benefit that second party can take it from first franchisor assist in training staff franchisor helps in training staff that is another advantage that relationship with supplier have already been established relationship with supplier have already been established already been established if we talk about some of its advantages the franchisor might go out of the business yes as we discussed earlier franchisor may go out of the business for example if kfc say that we are not going to resume our business operations then all the franchises around the world will be closed so that is another disadvantage franchisor may go out of the business then you have to close your operation as well number second a uh, breach of contract can result in penalty if you breach the contract like the agreement that you have between the parties so if franchisee breach that particular contract breach the contract contract can result in penalty 
can result in penalty charges. And penalty charges. Now, advantage to the franchiser. Advantage to franchiser and disadvantage. Above we were discussing about the uh, franchisee point of view. Now we will discuss from the franchiser point of view. The person who will uh, grant his business to other parties. If we talk about the advantages of a franchiser, uh, short and simple, it's a source of income. It's a source of income. Because you will get your agreement charges from second party. You know, uh, it's a source of income. You can say, in easy word, we use a word that royalty is received. We use that term in the business. Royalty is received. I mean, you have share your uh, business, your trademark, you know, that's become a business royalties. All these things, uh, even you are selling your business reputation as well. So that's become a royalties. Royalty rights. And then uh, risk of the business is spread among the different franchises. Risk of in fact, we, we can mention over there, network of outlet gives a business a better chance of success. You know, different outlets give better chances, give better chances to business. to get success to get success few of its disadvantages okay other franchisee obviously it's become a risky because they may hurt the reputations of the business okay they may spoil brand reputation and other could be setting up a franchise require a lot of money it required a lot of money a lot of money this is from uh, the franchise point of view Joint venture. Joint venture. Okay. Joint ventures when two or more businesses agree to work on a particular project and create a separate business division to do so. When two or more businesses two or more businesses work together work together on particular product on particular and create a separate business and create separate business Division to do so. To do so. There is a large and uh, huge example that we have in the joint venture. Although there are a lot of examples you can see around yourself in the markets as well. But the famous example that we have is the Sony Ericsson. Sony Ericsson. Sony Ericsson. 
Sony Ericsson budget established in 2001 and Sony were good in consumer electronics and Ericsson telecommunication firm okay they both have decided to work together and create a new mobile phone so they are working together on mobile phone while they have their own business and they have their own business but for specific project that is known as mobile phone they are working together this is known as joint venture i just hope that example is very clear to you now okay if i talk about few of its disadvantages and advantages obviously when you combine together you have uh, so many resources you have brainstorming you have investments okay you you have to share risk with each other a lot of things that you can take it from the word partnership so things will remain same obviously you have a lot of resources when you work together Then we have, let's say, you can provide, uh, you know, you can get benefit from each other expertise, get benefit from each other expertise. And disadvantages, if anyone fail, the whole project can be failed. If one partner fail, if one partner failed, whole project might be failed. Okay, whole project might be failed. For example, in above example, if the erection is failed to uh, deliver very good communication or the processing in the mobile phone, the obviously mobile phone will be or the mobile overall the mobile project will be disturbed and error and mistakes can lead towards blaming on each other errors and mistakes mistakes can lead towards blaming can lead towards blaming 